Now, from spawning fish to resting gorillas, this year's Wildlife Photographer of the Year pictures are as jaw-dropping as ever. But in what could be a crucial few months for our planet, many of the photos have extra significance. Among them is this remarkable shot taken by Surrey photographer Lara Jackson. It's not actually that picture, that's another one. But she has taken a wonderful picture of a lioness after a kill, which we'll show you in a moment. It's on display with other winners at the Natural History Museum. And from there, I spoke to Lara about how she got her photo. A little bit of luck. Um, I was really lucky enough to be in the Serengeti last July and August um, to watch the wildebeest migration. So this is a time where you've got two million animals moving through the landscape. And really, it's a time where the predators can grab an easy meal and we just happened to see this lioness as she pounced and um, we took the vehicle a tiny bit closer and yeah she'd taken down a fully grown wildebeest and unfortunately the the kill it wasn't clean and the poor thing was still alive and as we brought the car closer she just looked straight up and straight down the lens of my camera and gave me this intense challenging stare and yeah she was very intimidating intense is the word for it was it quite harrowing seeing that kill so close up yeah absolutely i think for me personally i found it very difficult to watch but i'm a scientist so the scientist in me was sort of jumping up and down thinking oh my goodness i cannot believe this is happening in front of me but yeah i definitely managed to distance myself a bit from what was going on just by looking through my camera and trying to think of what would make the best photo as well as a photographer a scientist as you say you're a conservationist what that you have seen on your travels has shocked you about our impact on the planet or are you beyond shock now? Um, well, it's a difficult question to answer because there are so many things I've seen that have really shocked me. Um, but I think for me it was my very first trip that I went to. Um, I, so I went to Madagascar and this is a really a poor country. You know, 80% of the population live below the poverty line and over 90% of their primary forest has been cut down. And I remember landing in the capital and it was an 18 hour drive to my research station and I don't remember seeing a single tree. And I think that was a real, um, that sort of hit me really hard. And I couldn't believe that, you know, just in one small place we'd had such a huge impact. And it, it makes me really upset to think about that multiplied on a global scale. Many of the other photos, the winning photos this year at the Natural History Museum, show the impact that we're having on wildlife and the planet. There's a mountain gorilla endangered by habitat loss, as you're talking about, a captive elephant, a seaweed forest. Uh, with the UN Climate Change Conference coming up in Glasgow, what would you like to see be achieved in a few weeks' time? I think I'd like to see some real goals that we can actually act upon now. I think there's always been this talk about creating targets that we might hit in 20 years or 50 years. And in reality, we don't have that time anymore. We've ignored so much advice from scientists and experts that we really do need to be making fast and quick, decisive actions and changes to our lifestyles. So I think it would be absolutely fantastic if we could come up with some goals um, that are actionable now. Laura Jackson speaking to me earlier.